Indian motorcycle, uh, with the claim of being America's oldest motorcycle brand being established in 1901, is celebrating the 100th anniversary of one of its biggest models in 2022, and that's the Indian Chief, which not only gets a bigger, badder motor as standard this year, but also a wholly redesigned frame and a slimmed down model lineup. Uh, the new Indian Chief range is powered by Indian's downright visually stunning Thunderstroke 116 V-Twin. The newer, bigger brother of the engine the model made its debut with under the reborn Indian motorcycle brand back in 2014. Power is acclaimed 162 Nm of torque, which is ample for punting the big American bikes around at more than just a brisk pace. The engine is housed in, in Indian's words, a simplistic steel tube frame with suspension coming in the form of 46mm front forks and a pair of outboard mounted rear shocks instead of the previous generation's mono shock at the rear. Both rear shocks are preload adjustable, but it's quite interesting to see Indian move away from the more modern mono shock for the more old school design of the steel frame and outboard twin shocks. Lean angle, because it's something American companies feel they need to shout about, is acclaimed 28.5 degrees before you start scraping the footboards. It's in the visual department, however, that the Indian Chief lineup has seen its biggest changes. Gone are the swooping fenders and heavy looking front nacelle with the new range featuring a less artisanal aesthetic that will surely help attract buyers to the mark that aren't grandads. Don't get me wrong, the outgoing Chief range were damn fine lookers but there is something about the simplified looks of the new bikes that is strangely appealing. The lineup features a 15.1 litre fuel tank, Bob rear fender, dual exhaust, LED lighting, keyless ignition and Pirelli Night Dragon tyres as standard. Along with the electronic cruise control, riders can adjust throttle response of the Big Thunder Stroke engine by selecting one of three ride modes, Sport, Standard or Tour, which is all done via the new TFT dash unit which is a first for the Chief range. Featuring a short wheelbase of 1626mm, a low seat height of just 662mm and a wet weight of acclaimed 304kgs, Indian's goal for the updated Chief was to make it one of the more approachable bikes in a class of heavyweight behemoths. The new bikes definitely look like they've slimmed down a ton in their quest to shake that image of the big ball Indian range being a granddad's bike. The Indian Chief range will come in three variants for 2022, with the Base Chief and Chief Vintage apparently going the same way as the old school script dialing and getting cut from the lineup. Instead, we're left with the Chief Dark Horse, which retails here in New Zealand for $24,995 as the entry to the range, which is then followed by the Chief Bobber at 26495 and topped by the Super Chief Limited at 28995. The Chief Dark Horse is defined by its stripped down mechanical styling highlighted by drag handlebars, 19 inch cast alloys, mid mounted foot controls, a slim headlight bucket and a solo bobber seat. It looks really really stunning to be honest and it has almost a shall we say muscle Harley vibe to it which will definitely appeal to a more broader range than the very very stylish but if over style previous generation of the Chief. The Boba Dark Horse switches things up with mini 8 hanger handlebars paired with the traditional forward mounted foot controls. It adds fork and shock covers and features a large headlight bucket wrapped in a nacelle just like the old bikes. Designed for comfort and practicality, the range topping Super Chief Limited stands apart with a quick release windscreen, black leather saddlebags, touring seat with passenger pad, footboards, traditional cruiser handlebars, and like the Bobber Dark Horse, the Super Chief Limited features 16 inch wire wheels, a large headlight bucket with nacelle, fork covers, and tops it all off with a traditional full chrome exhaust. The new 2022 range of the Indian Chief uh, is expected to arrive in New Zealand dealerships from April 2021 along with a range of over 70 accessories to choose from to further personalise the bikes to the owner's choosing. This is quite a big deal for Indian Motorcycle because it's the first time we have seen them fully reimagine one of their core products. For a long time, since 2014 in fact, Indian's been more of a evolutionary company rather than a revolutionary company. Uh, particularly when it comes to their big ball cruisers. So gone is that aluminium frame, mono shock, big old, um, heavily leaning on the old school styling aesthetic, and in comes a more slimmed down and dare I say it cheaper range of motorcycles that's surely to help keep Indian going in a world where the cruiser is slowly dying off in favour of more practical bikes. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see what these bikes ride like. I'm definitely hoping to get a chance to ride them this year. Um, so stay tuned, hit that subscribe button and check out onthrottle.co.nz for more motorcycle news reviews and a whole lot more. Thanks for watching.